there are still black people on this platform that are really, really lost souls. They don't have their priorities in order at all. They don't have their priorities together. They're over here arguing about the stupidest, most unimportant things while we're still getting killed out here, while people are out there protesting for their freedom from oppression, and they are arguing over the littlest things that make no sense and are very small compared to our lives as a whole. One thing that I've been on this this uh, particular platform, whether it be this channel that I have or the old channel that was taken away that had so many views by people, is I've been consistent about my love of black women. I've been consistent about talking about black issues. A lot of people told me that they were inspired to do their own channels because of me, even Water Sniper, whose channel is flourishing. I'm so proud of him. He's been doing a great job on his channel. You know, a lot of people started channels because they listened to me and they were inspired, and I really appreciate that. I'm not taking any credit for it, but I really appreciate that they told me that they started because of me. It makes me feel good that I was able to get some people out there who normally would just watch videos and not do anything, but they actually decided to put a channel together and just do what they do. And they're actually, you know, doing their thing and they're succeeding. I like it. Erica uh, Blacks United was one of the people that was subscribed to my older channel. And uh, she had been doing videos for a while. I don't know if she still do, does videos now, but she did uh, slideshows just like I do slideshows. And I've been consistent about this. I have never changed. Even when I got to be a bigger YouTuber, when I was getting more notice from other black YouTubers that were a little bit bigger than me, that were more prominent than me, such as Angel Mirrors Jordan, I never changed who I was. I was still for the people and I still am for the people now. My views are always going to be low because my subscribers do not get the notifications that I'm doing my videos. YouTube will not allow it. Some of the subscribers don't want to watch every video that I do, and that's fine. That's their choice. But I don't understand why a lot of black people are wasting their time talking about things that don't matter. I talk about interracial dating because it does matter. It doesn't do anything for black people. It is a problem, just like racism, that black people need to get out of their fucking system. Because... When you are free and the oppression is over, you've got your freedom. If black men and black women are still at each other's throats, what good is freedom? You're just going to go back and run into the arms of people that you want to get away from to begin with. Black women and black men have to learn to love each other. So when we are free, it'll work. Financial, yes, we understand monetary funds must be made in the community so that we can have our communities flourish. We have to have banks. We have to have businesses so that our people can have jobs. We have to have schools so our kids can be educated properly. The right education this time. Not the indoctrination that I went through and you went through as a young person. Seriously. These are things that are more important than arguing over foolish things like, I'm going to kick this bitch's ass. I'm going to hurt this guy because he keeps talking about me. Come on, man. Y'all niggas sound stupid as shit right now. You sound dumb. On, on this platform right now. When there are bigger things going on. You are doing nothing for your people. When you're on this platform. Arguing and talking about how you want to kick this person's ass. How you want to kick this person's ass. And this bitch better do this. And this guy better. Come on man. Y'all sound like a bunch of clowns. You ain't ready for what's going on right now. You over here playing. Just like that guy Jonathan Price. And I think I might do a video about him. Because somebody sent me information about that guy. You know, it's just, um, I don't understand. You you people think that this whole shit about racism and these these white extremists who want to kill you and want to, you know, get you off the face of the earth, they want to extinguish your life. You think this is just some fucking game and it's going to go away if you ignore it and don't talk about it? It's not. Just like the people that say forget about racism, forget about slavery, and the people that support interracial dating, they think that this shit is some kind of game where they could love themselves, they could fuck themselves out of racism and prejudice and hatred and discrimination. It does not work that way. You have to understand, the reason why my voice is not going to be heard the way it should be heard, the way it was heard from 2013 all the way to 2017 is because I am talking the actual truth. I don't come on a platform and do live streams because I don't want to get on a platform with people that interracially date. Not because I have a problem with people that disagree with me. I don't. You have the right to disagree all you want. But I don't want to know about your fantasies, your relationships, your sex life with a white man or a white woman when you're a black person. Because I don't 
practice being friends with these people in real life. I don't endorse that lifestyle in real life. So I don't want to be around anybody that does that in real life or on the internet. I just don't believe in it. So that's why I don't do live streams. And if I did live streams, I wouldn't have panels like that because I just can't do it. You got people getting on panels right now arguing with each other over stupid shit instead of talking about strategies that we need to take and steps we need to take to continue to fight for our freedom. I understand we're going to talk about interracial dating. That's something, like I said, that's an important thing too. But, you know, people are talking about I'm kicking somebody's ass and, you know, bitch, you done said something behind my back. I know where you are. Come on, y'all sound fucking dumb. The anger should be directed towards your enemy, your true enemy, not the black woman and the black man in your community. I understand we got problems with people in our community and that's going to be an issue that we have to take up to later on but when it comes to your survival first and foremost you target your anger at your true enemy not your people this is the stupid shit that black people are still doing now and this is why you wonder why we lose because we got people that do not focus on the bigger picture they focus on things that are not important it doesn't make any sense Just like I told people they need to get themselves out of this habit of depending on white people to help them. Depending on, you know, looking at them as your savior. Because they're not your fucking savior. You can save yourself. You don't want to save yourself because you're lazy. It doesn't make any sense that this is happening. Taking steps forward and then you just come on YouTube and platforms like this. Because you got a following of people on your huge platform And you're talking about you want to kick somebody's ass. This dude ain't shit. Man, man, I I mean, this don't sound like people that are ready for war. And there's a war going on, but you're not ready for it. You're the ones who will die in the front lines because you're not ready. You, You guys are just like Jonathan Price. You think these people are harmless. They're your friends. If you shake their hand, if you give them a hug, if you fuck them, they're going to leave you alone. It doesn't work that way. This is the real world, ladies and gentlemen, not a fucking cartoon or a dream. Kirby's Dreamland. This is not this is not that. This is reality. You need to get your head out of your ass, get the head out of the sand and get it into the game of life, of survival because that's what's going on out here. I'm consistent about what I do. I don't just talk about this online. I do this shit out here, put it into practice. I don't fuck with people that interracially date. I don't fuck with them people in my life at all. Them people in the do- in the so-called dominant society. I don't fuck with them like that. I don't I don't, I don't hate them, but I don't fuck with them like that. I know who my enemies are, and some of them look like me. Problem is, a lot of you don't know that. Or a lot of you do, but you play dumb. And then once you end up dead, you're going to wonder why, but then it's too late. Sometimes I feel like I'm too real for YouTube, and I'm not getting ahead of myself and boosting up my head, but I'm telling you, this is how I feel. And I tell you the real, and some of you just don't want to listen. But this is what it is.